Hey everyone, today I wanted to share with you uh, my new Hobonichis. They came last week um, and it was pretty quick delivery actually from Japan so I was I was really happy. Um, I first had bought this plant, this cover and it's the Highland Blue and it has the green inside and because I really wanted the pink one, but they were already, they were already sold out, and they don't plan to restock it. So I figured this color was the next best thing. And what I did is I just took a um, I just ran off a picture on my printer, and then fit it inside of the cover. It comes with this um, cover on cover as well. So I just did that to get to kind of jazz it up a bit, so it wasn't just plain. Um, and I can change the covers if I want to, if I get tired of this. This is actually the house, um, I watch a lot of BBC, um, programming, and on Netflix they have a show, it's called Doc Martin, and it's set in this little seaport village in, um, the United Kingdom. And so this is the little doctor's house, and then there's the background of it. Just a little info, if you're wondering what that is. So I had ordered this one first. Well, um, this cover, I think it came out to like $13 after you do the currency conversion. Um, but I really liked this cover. This was my favorite. So my husband had bought a new truck and so he was like, oh, go ahead and order, you know, whatever you want. So I was able to get this one. As well so now I use this one as my Hobonichi and this one I bought the Hobonichi papers and it's like my doodle book so there's some little doodles that I'm learning to draw and then I just have a Coletto pen for that one and then this is the actual um, Hobonichi papers inside so there's the pretty cover and then this here I made myself. It's my own pencil board. I just took pictures that I found on the internet. Sorry for all this glare. It's like everything is plastic, so there's going to be this glare. Um, I just took pictures off the internet and printed them off and then sized them down. And then I used this Scotch self-seal. They're little laminating pouches. I've shared these before in my videos. I love these things. They're just little um, self-adhesive, so you don't need a, like a laminating machine. They work really well. And this pack was $6 at Joann's, and I used a coupon on that, so it was cheaper than that. So anyway, made my own little pencil board. I like the one on that the Hobonichi sells, but I didn't pick one up, and so... I don't want to pay the shipping just for one little pencil board, so I figured I'd just make my own, and it's cuter. The one that they have is just a grid style um, pencil board, so that just fits in the back there. And what this is used for is like when you're writing on a page, you can put it like behind it, and so it gives you a, a hard surface to write on, so that's what that's for. So that just fits nicely back in here. Now this cover doesn't have a back pocket. With this cover, it does have a um, back pocket on it so you can slip things in there. But it's no big deal. This little um, cover on cover holds it nicely in there. So I know where it's at. So there's my little Hobonichi. And I started, um, open it up so you can see inside. Uh, it's got little card slots here and then I got the Japanese version that starts in April so this one the full pages don't start until April but it's got like little calendars for little um, things that you can write down birthdays and stuff like that and then it started in February with the calendar so I filled a couple things in there. There's the March, and it goes all the way. Um, I think it goes through 2000. Yeah, it goes through 2016. 
goes up to May of 2016, which is nice. Then it starts in March with just the half pages that you could fill in. So I started using this as my journal and went ahead and started filling stuff in. I put like the temperature and what the weather was like and then just go through my days. Um, I use a lot of the little stickers, the little cute little diary stickers, so cute, as my um, embellishments. And so I'm up to today, which is Friday. And then in April, so that goes through all of March where it's the half. And then April, it starts the full pages. So you have the full page to write and decorate. Which so far, this isn't too bad. Just this little bit. Um, it's the perfect size, actually. So... But that's what that looks like. And I wasn't concerned about the Japanese. My mom's Japanese, so I'm used to seeing like the characters and stuff. I can't read it, but it doesn't bother me. So that's why I went with the Japanese version instead of the English version. So there's my Hovenichi. And then I picked up a new Coletto pen. This one holds five colors. So I got that from Amazon, I think it was. And then that just goes in that little pocket. So here is my little bag. I showed this um, in my last video, I think it was, that I had bought these um, off of Amazon. They're called, if you just do a Google or a search on Amazon for a clear travel pouch, this will come up. And it was, um, I think it was like eight or nine dollars for this with Prime. So pretty good price. So let me share with you what I have in it. And this is the perfect little bag. I can take it all through the house if I want to go downstairs, um, if I'm getting ready to make dinner and I'll sit at the island with my little bag and work on stuff. Um, and it holds everything that I need. So on the side here you get three little pockets and then over here I just have some little sticker flags and some page flags, which I probably won't use any page flags in uh, my Hobonichi, but they're there if I want them. And then over here, there's just some little, I'm kind of stuck, another set of little crayon flags and then a bunch of little memo sheets, uh, different little cute memo sheets. And in this pocket, I just have my um, colorful pens, which I had bought these at um, Blick Art Supplies. And I think it was $5 for this set. And I mentioned it before in another video. I thought it would write like different colors, but it just writes whatever color is on top. And I think what you do is as you get down to the next color, then you just switch the caps onto the next pen. So they don't really write multicolored, but they write colorful and they smell like tutti frutti. So. <laughs> okay, the next pocket, I just have this little Sakura charm which that's my middle name, so I always have those. My mom had gotten me that. And then this pocket has all my like pens and um, correction, not correction tape, tape runners. And then there's this little deco tape. Um, got some of these Micron pens in different colors. And then here's my little correction fluid. It's like a pen type. These are my little smash scissors. Look like that. Um, some highlighters in pink and orange. These are the newest pens that are in the dollar spot right now at Target. I have my mechanical pencil, a water brush. This is a little glue pen. Um, my little Relacuma um, friction pen. I have a red one somewhere. Can't find it. Oh, and there's another um, Micron pen. And then my tape runner and deco tape. So that's in that pocket. And then in the large pocket, I have my little travel 
um, pouch thingy you know, when everybody was getting these. <laughs> so in this one, it has all my um, deco stickers. And you can find these on Etsy. You can find them on eBay. Um, you just do a search for Korean diary stickers or um, planner, uh, deco stickers, um, anything that has to do with planner and stickers. You'll, they'll come up with these. And they're pretty cheap. They come from overseas, so it takes a while to get them. But they are cheap and usually free shipping. So I think they're a pretty good deal. And if you don't mind waiting, it's, it's a good deal. So these are my favorite, the Bonnie Girl. And it's funny because I had one set and then I ordered another one. And <laughs> the colors are so different. Like here she's like really pale. And then this one she's like really tan. So I call this like the winter. I'll use these for the like my winter pages when we're all pale. And then I'll use these for summer when we're tan. <laughs> So those are all my stickers. I got some small ones in here too. Um, this is another cute series. It's the Cookies Hello Day sticker. Just cute little girl. I need to find some like boy ones for my son because they're mainly girls. And then there's more stickers in this pocket as well. So that's my little sticker pouch. And then I also have this little doodle book that I bought off of Amazon Japan. And it also came quick. This was like, it came in like two days. And it wasn't even um, priority, sh priority shipping or anything. It was just your standard shipping and it came fast. And I saw this book on, um, I was watching My Life Mitts. Uh, is My Life Mitts' video. <laughs> and she had shown this. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. But it teaches you, like, how to do the different doodles and stuff. And you can draw, like, food. And it's got people. And so there's that little, the little boy I drew in this notebook. I figure that looks like Carson. <laughs> so that's just a practice drawing. And so I got that. And I think this was $20 shipped what it came up to and then I also have my peerless um, watercolors which I need to go through and restick with um, better double-sided tape because two of them keep popping off each time and it's always the same too but that's my little um, peerless watercolors to go my little travel one I also picked up some of these colored pencils you can find these at Target they're like mini size so perfect for my little bag and this little tube was six dollars at Target and then I have this cute little pouch and it just has some other um, sticker flakes things like that in there just little things to keep in there I'm stick all these back in there oh also I have my masking tape sticker set this bit on the side. I have to go through and fix this again so it sits up. But what's nice about this bag too is my little um, my little Hobonichi fits perfectly inside here. And I struggled with getting either the A5 or the A6 and I decided to go with the A6 because it's a lot more travel friendly for me anyway um, and like I said it fits perfectly in this little bag so that when we go on trips and stuff I can just grab my little bag and head out the door okay this side has another pocket and right now I just have a little um, folder these are my favorite little CNX characters right now I ordered a bunch of stuff off of eBay that's coming little sticky flags and stuff so in this pocket I have some washi tape on a card and then that's just a little um, it's like a card holder tape thing so you can put more like little washi tapes in them um, also some memo sheets that same the same little characters and then a couple more little sticky things then I have my 
um, lead refills for my mechanical pencil. And finally, I have my multi eight colored pencil. This is really cool um, for traveling. It's got all the lead, colored pencil lead here in this little <clears throat> circular part. And you just turn the little um, clip to get the color you want. So like there's red and then you just kind of catch it like that. And then it goes back in there and then you can buy refills for it. This one was kind of pricey. It was um, $17 on Amazon just for the pen and the refills are like $13 or something like that. So I only use that occasionally. So there you have it. There's my little travel bag um, for my Hobonichi. It's fun. Like I said, I can carry it all around the house and everything's in here. I take it to when I go to bed at night, I take it to my bed and do some drawing or doodling or whatever. So perfect size. And then I wanted to share a couple things that I picked up in the stores. Oh, this came along with my Hobonichi too. It's Little 10 things about the Hobonichi Techo. And then it came with a free little um, tissue holder. And apparently, um, only like the Japanese type tissues fit in here, which is fine because my mom gave me like a whole big bag full of Japanese tissues when she um, got back from Japan last year. <laughs> so they'll fit perfectly in there. And then also, um, where's my pen? It was, if you ordered the um, Techo Planner, you got free items. So that's what these are. So they also sent this three colored pen as well. And it has Hobonichi Techo 2015 on it. So cute little free gifts. And then this little pamphlet of different things. I guess people use these, um, they cut out these things and use them in their Hobonichis, which is cute. There's a little guy eating curry. And my mom's actually making me some curry today, so I'm going to go pick that up. <laughs> so I could put that little guy in there. So that was from there. And you saw these already. I picked those up to make the pencil boards. I ordered some more cute little diary stickers. This one has a little cat on it, which is really cute. So we have a calico cat. So this reminded me of her. So I'll put that in my little pouch. And then I also picked up some more Micron pens. And I just placed another order on Amazon for some new Microns in the colors. Because I needed a brown one. My brown had dried out. So I bought these at Joann's and they were 50% off. And then I also got another glue pen. This is the Tombow um, glue pen stick style. And then over at Target I found this little jar of chalkboard paint in the dollar section and I also I forgot about all this other stuff that I picked up hold on I forgot all the other dollar spot items I got um, I found some of the crochet lace so I picked up three of those in different designs and then they also had these um, foam brushes in the dollar section. So I picked up two packs of those. And then these cute little burlap flowers. And these I bought um, at Barnes & Noble. They're vintage postcards. And they have like glittery um, postcards. You get two each. Two of each design and a cute little tin to hold it all in and then my mom had given me this box of cards they're just little note cards and then these I plan on using in my Hobonichi when spring comes around if it ever does around here we just got more snow yesterday but they're cute little Easter um, American craft stickers. And then just one little um, sticky note thing. Some jelly bellies because I love jelly bellies. And also online, I had ordered this Molang diary. 
and I thought it would fit in my Hobonichi, this one, but it doesn't. It's a little too, too large. So I was kind of bummed out about that. So I'll probably just end up giving this one to Carson to draw in or whatever, because I don't think I'll use it. I had planned on using it for like a um, finance type planner to keep track of all my finances and stuff, but I don't know. It just won't fit, so I'll just probably give it to him to draw in. So that is all. Um, yeah, I have a, uh, I did order from Jet Pens, which I have an order coming on Monday, and I ordered a Kakuno fountain pen that's coming today, as well as some um, Zebra Mild Liners, and I'll share those. I'll probably wait till Monday and share all that when it all comes in. Um, but yeah, I'm like on this huge stationary pen type kick now, since I got my Hobonichi, but it's really fun. Oh, I didn't show my little ruler I got, too. On the back, I have this little metal ruler that fits perfectly in there. And then this little um, two pocket folder also slips in there. But I had ordered the um, this cute these cute characters in the same type of folder, so I'll be putting that in here instead. And I'll move this one back to my Midori Chiro's notebook. So, there you have it. There's my haul. There's my little traveling bag all shared so i hope you all have a great weekend and i will talk to you again soon thanks for watching bye